Hey everyone, how's it going? Phil Montelioni, the book peddler, coming to you from my little shop in Smithville Flats, New York. If you haven't, I hope you like and subscribe to my book peddler YouTube channel. You stay up to date on book picks, in-store, out-store activity, uh, specialized items. I even have a playlist for um, sellers as well that are, excuse me, getting into the business. Uh, you know, different advice, things I think would be uh, beneficial um, for either a new seller and maybe even the seasoned seller can can pick up a little thing or two or at least contribute to the video um with a comment in the description which which is excellent it's been great meet meeting uh some some of you and and and, and uh what do you say corresponding with some of you and i just want to let you know that youtube for whatever reason is is not allowing some of your comments to come on screen so like pick like a pro i see you left a comment i can't respond to it rojo I saw you left a comment about something. I forget what video was on yearbooks. I can't respond to it. I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm halfway illiterate uh, with this stuff and, and proud to be in a lot of ways. But um, anyhow, I'm very sorry I can't respond to you. I hope that whatever the glitch is, it, it, it gets corrected. Um, one other thing before I get started, I, I, I had some estate sale buys and in-shop buys I think some of you will, will enjoy. Um... But I started an Instagram thing. Yep, here we go, getting wrapped up in the social media pit. But uh, I figure, hey, you know something? I put it on Facebook, what people thought. The majority said go for it. And the way I figure it is that if it's another avenue that's free marketing, why not give it a shot? So I'm giving it a six-month trial. And what I will be doing is posting uh, a new book, a special book, every other day until the following grows. And then I'll do daily. Um, I got so much cool material and it's not like Facebook where, where I'll, where I space out my posts by like, um, uh, once a week or, or, or twice a week at most. So this will be a lot more consistent. So if you're on Instagram, look up the book peddler, the one and only anybody else out there is a poser, snap their neck. All right. But I'm going to show you now, um, some of the finds that I got, got really cool finds. I also got a new pair of glass today see what you check this out yeah now i'm a boss right <laughs> so i thought these were pretty cool expensive a lot more than i than i anticipated but um okay i know you're here for the books let me get into these buys okay what do we have here i was at an estate sale my sister emily helped me out Big shout out to uh, to Emily. We had a, a bonding experience. <laughs> Emmy helped me out. This is General John Sullivan's Indian Expedition, 1779. Uh, very beat up book, okay? I have a copy for myself upstairs, but it's complete with the map. See how that's falling apart? Now, all this can be fixed. Will I fix it? I most likely am just going to sell it as is. If this was in mint, I see him ranging from like 175 to 250. Let me get you to the title page. Um, here we go. So uh, John Sullivan, this was published in 1887. John Sullivan went all around New York slaughtering a lot of the Indian tribes in a response to the um, Wyoming massacre that happened down in PA and the Cherry Valley massacre in upstate New York. But this is a really great book. I have people lined up that have wanted this book, map included. Maps, uh, there's engravings and whatnot. Um, if I can find one, if it's meant to be, doesn't look like it, but uh, he could trust my word. Really cool book, very desirable uh, book. I wish it was in better condition, but I'm still going to make a little bit of money on that. Now I'll take you to this one, America Illustrated. Very nice book, probably between uh, uh, sixty seventy five dollars. And um, let's see the uh, the date in this. Uh, no date. Maybe it's on the reverse. It should be. I I think it's eighteen eighty seven. Go with my word. It's too tough. Oh, there's a dried fern leaf. Things you find in books. Uh, illustrated beautifully. Very nice book, gold gill edge page edging, very nice. I, I should be able to sell this uh, fairly quickly to the right guy. Um, I'll show you a couple of the other buys at the estate sale. Remember how I said I always scoop up Eric Sloan? 
Well, there's Eric Sloan in Age of Barnes. Quick $10 book. Um, everything that I bought is definitely saleable online. Autobahn book. Um, the farm book. This, I just saw the, the, the graphics, the illustration. It's $25, $30. Zeb, Celebrate Schooner Life. Probably 20 bucks. Um, farming book. And, uh, Rare Breeds. I, I don't know about that one. Maybe, hopefully, like, a... 10 bucks so i got those and um i'll tell you if it wasn't for the, these two books here that i showed the sullivan and the america illustrated i'll flip it to myself quick see there was another um there was another dealer in there not a book dealer but uh he he mostly deals with early tools and stuff but he does like paper a lot and i didn't know that he was going to be going after the same books i was and he was ahead of line and he he got there first and took what he wanted right off the shelf. And actually, the books that he got, these are rebound, bound, flip. They're on the shelf, The Great Rebellion. And it's, take one off. It's 1800s. Um, he, he had the, uh, I don't know if they're exactly the first edition, what he had, but this is what it looks like. <clears throat> and it's a very, very nice set. It's probably $150, $200 set. He went right for it and grabbed it. And I was like, damn it you know that's what i wanted um but what was so cool was that he said the rest are yours so he went to his pocket grabbed what he wanted there was an early new york state gas tier as well that i've sold for i think upwards a hundred dollars and um so he got he got him you know but what was so cool was that he gave up the rest of this for me to have he knows this is how i make my living and i thought that was very decent of him and um we see each other around every now and then. He's a few years older than me. He goes, hey, I got an antique booth in, in, in the place close by. So I stop in to see his booth because he has early stuff. And that's where I bought this book here. I really liked it. And in school, I actually um, studied uh, this period. So let me flip it. And so he had this book listed. He had this... Uh, up for, for a bit of cash, and I'll, I'll show you. Here's a pull-out map on the inside. Annals of uh, Tryon County, or the Border Warfare of New York during the Revolution, by William Campbell, 1831. There's also a letter by uh, Joseph Brandt in there. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a fast similar. It's a reproduction of his letter. And uh, Brandt is also going to be found in that book right here. But hold on. So, so basically, um, you know, I said, well, what's the best he could do? And he gave me his number. I said, well, look, normally, you know, I, I wouldn't pay that much for it. I, I would hold firm at basically $25 under his asking price. And I'm sure he would have taken it, to be honest with you. But I said, I really appreciate what you did for me uh, in there, you know. And he's like, allow me to eat, basically. So I'm going to pay you what you're asking on it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's important to maintain decent quality business relationships with, with people in the similar fields than you. He's out there picking, doing his thing. I have a bigger outlet for this material than he does. And, um, you know, he can make some money off of me and I can make some money off of him. It can be a working relationship. So that was very decent of him. Uh, probably won't see this video, but if, if you, if you do, I appreciate it immensely. His name's even slipping my mind. But uh, anyhow, enough of that rambling. Um, let me flip it. So two more things that came into the shop. Paradise Lost by, by Milton. Very nice, uh, fi fine, finely bound book. And this is from um, 1817. So check that out, huh? What a cool book. So I had to have that beautiful and then another one came in it is the miniature lexicon of the english language and this is a ladies edition go get it ladies let's see here we go the ladies reticule companion or little lexicon of the english language 1844 look at that little miniature like thumb book so cool buys I was uh, I was happy with these buys, um, and I'll flip it to myself to we'll close out this video. So I was very happy with these buys. Um, fairly solid material, and it's stuff that I should move. 
at, at a at a rather fast pace. Maybe not fast, fast. I guess it depends what you think a fast is. But um, uh, anyways, so I was happy with it, and um, and so now you see if you're interested in anything, of course, uh, reach out to me, and I'll I'll give you a nice deal on 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 what you'd like to have. Um, so anyways, I think that's about it for the video. Uh, just one thing, uh, shout out to Rowan. Um, if you've watched this far, Rowan, or if you even see this, he's out of, uh, Portland, Oregon. He's, he's starting in book selling. I wish you the best of luck. We talked on the phone. It's been really neat corresponding with everybody. And, um, I'm glad you're enjoying the, the, the videos and I'll keep putting them out. So, um, okay. With that being said, guys, take care out there. Happy Halloween until the next time. We'll see you.